Aquaman actors have finally revealed the difficulty in coping with Amber's narcissistic behavior on set. Even though Aquaman became one of the biggest hits in DC history, grossing more than one billion worldwide and receiving high critical acclaim, the actors working on the project had to go through a lot before the final product could be seen on screen. And that included dealing with Amber Heard daily on the set, which according to them was not a pleasant experience at all. So what have former Aquaman actors revealed about Amber's narcissistic behavior on set? Keep watching to find out more. Amber Heard was almost recast in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom because she didn't have natural chemistry with Jason Momoa in the first movie, a Warner Brothers executive testified as part of the defamation case between Heard and Johnny Depp. A pre-recorded deposition from Walter Hamada, president of DC-based film production for Warner Brothers, was played in court on Tuesday by Depp's team to undercut Heard's counterclaim that her career was harmed by Depp's attorney. Hamada testified there was a delay for several weeks to cast Heard in the Aquaman sequel because of conversations about recasting by the director James Wan and producer Peter Safran. It was the concern brought up at the wrap of the first movie, which was the issue of chemistry, Hamada said. I think editorially they were able to make that relationship work in the first movie, but there was a concern that it took a lot of effort to get there and that we would be better off finding someone with more natural chemistry with Jason Momoa and move forward that way. He added, I think at the end of the day, I think if you watch the movie, they look like they had great chemistry. But I just know that through the course of the post-production that it took a lot of effort to get there. Now, this sounds very fishy. Walter Hamada, in very carefully chosen words, is inferring that there was an obvious rift between Amber and Jason Momoa on set, which made the movie so difficult to shoot that the studio had to consider recasting Amber's character entirely. That is huge. Jason is known to be a very friendly and easygoing guy. So if Amber could not get along well with him and not make it work, it is safe to assume that her attitude towards everybody on set was less than pleasant. And even though nobody will publicly admit it, due to non-disclosure agreements signed, Walter's testimony is all the evidence we need. Internet was quick to react to all this drama. This person tweeted, I would love to hear from anyone on the set of Aquaman confirm Amber's claims that her PTSD from Depp's abuse caused many issues and retakes when doing fight scenes or violent clips. All I saw was her laughing. I mean, her father did teach her to break the spirits of wild souls. Amber is such a narcissist that the reason she thinks they didn't want her in Aquaman is someone Johnny else's fault. Homegirl, it's the lack of chemistry, noted this user. You know, it's hilarious that Amber Heard has Spiegel accuse Johnny Depp of being a narcissist. Then her movie specialist comes out and basically says A.H. is God's gift to cinema and that she's the reason Aquaman was a success. Who's the narcissist? Continued another. That's it for today. Give us your thoughts in the comments below. Will you support an Aquaman 2 movie if it features Amber Heard? Don't forget to like and subscribe.